let's move on to the topic 2 that is uh, you know the previous uh, topic we discussed about selection process now we are going to discuss about employee induction or orientation that means once the selection process has been done what is the way actually you know we are going to induct the employee into the organization that's what exactly employee induction or orientation talks about and orientation or employee induction is nothing but it's a systematic and planned way we introduce the employees to the job and uh, the co-workers and to the entire organization it's also called it as again you know induction and uh, basic idea of uh, you know providing this particular induction is to you know give the idea for a new employee about uh, what is this organization is all about how they are supposed to you know function what is the goal of the organization what way they need to you know function all this kind of a thing it will give you it's a kind of a process or it could be an you know uh, what you call it as a, it's a serious kind of a steps are involved and it's not an event it's a, it's a kind of you know series of steps are involved so now let's try to look at what is the purpose of orientation the idea began coming out of the orientation is to you know reduce the startup cost uh, associated with the job learning because uh, by providing a right kind of an uh, orientation what happens is like uh, employee will learn things very fast second thing you can actually you know employee might have millions of questions and anxiety in their mind so that can be reduced by conducting an orientation and we can save a lot of time for uh, supervisors and colleagues so that you know easily employee can able to you know get into the job uh, quickly uh, you know without thinking much and uh, we can able to develop a realistic job expectations and uh, job satisfaction otherwise you know if the induction has not been provided uh, the, the employee will have their own kind of an expectations and that ultimately that lead to job uh, you know dissatisfaction now let's try to look at what are the steps are involved in induction program and once an employee has been given an offer the employee comes to the organization and comes for a joining and that point in time we may have to you know welcome the uh, you know employee to the organization by sending a mails and uh, to all the employees and ent entire employee systems and we can you know probably uh, put up the kind of you know welcome note uh, if he's a very very senior pers person uh, we can conduct a meeting if it is a very very senior person probably his uh, name and photograph and what position he is joining all these details actually we can put it in the uh, you know front office and uh, that's a way actually you know we can formally welcome the particular employee to the organization and uh, next step is actually you know uh, explain about the company normally you know company profile or what you call the company brochures will be given to the new employee and new employees are expected to you know probably go through the entire uh, company profile and uh, understand that and then even the HR person try to explain about the company in detail and uh, they show the locations where exactly they are supposed to sit and which department they are working and uh, you know where the new recruit, uh, recruit actually you know the employee will sit and give the complete kind of con complete uh, you know your HR manual or what you call your company manual uh, so that you know they will understand what are the processes and subsystems and systems are involved and you can also give a complete details about what are the kind of a different departments are there work groups are there which are the projects are currently going on all of the details and the HR department can emphasize more on uh, you know about their salary benefits holidays leave all these details they can explain and they can emphasize the importance of attendance or a punctuality what time they are expected and what time you know the logout time and explain about the future training opportunities what are the areas you know the training will be arranged and how the career prospects and career you know planning can be you know worked out to the new employee and uh, in case of you know let's say the new employee has got a lot of uh, doubts or they have any clarification that has to be clarified and by encouraging the employee to come out with an you know more and more questions so these are the ways actually you know steps in induction program happens but one of the gray area in an induction program is there will be a lot of application form to fill 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 and that, that that's the way actually you know we need to make it completely kind of an what you call it as uh, there will be a lot of paperwork will be involved that is a major kind of a problem in induction program so problems of uh, you know orientation as we already discussed uh, just now there's too much of paperwork and high cost to the company because you may spend a lot of time and then you know separately there will be an induction program itself will be conducted in some hotels or some other place we may have to arrange for a lunch and then you know we may have to arrange for all other overhead costs and uh, only expenditure there is no income here and it is information overloaded to the employee 
and too much of selling of the organization and uh, too much of one way communication it will be very difficult for the employee to relate sometimes this is the major problems of orientations and uh, you know that's a way if you look into it orientation we need to make it so simple and uh, we need to tell them about the strategy and the goal of the organization and let the org you know employee comes learns that and then come out with more questions and then that's a way actually we need to make it more simple